The five suspects who are between the ages of 25 and 50 are all from within the metropolis. According to Issa, the police succeeded in busting the notorious syndicate of the suspected sodomists, who at different intervals had an unlawful kind of knowledge of the 17-year-old boy against the order of nature. Uh, for now, there are 11, 11 of them. To the extent that uh, this 17-year-old boy, we have to take him to the hospital because he cannot sit down. They have injured him. We succeeded in arresting five of them. Narrating his ordeal, the 17-year-old victim said one of the suspects, 42-year-old Ibrahim Amadou, took him to a particular location in Casina where he threatened him with a knife, tied his hands with a rope and had unlawful kind of knowledge of him. He added that six of the suspects were involved in the act, including a 50-year-old Jamilu Ibrahim. He said all the suspects did the same thing to him at different places and intervals. The suspects, during interviews with newsmen, did not deny their involvement. They blamed the devil for their actions. In another development, the police also said they have recovered 15 wheelchairs recently donated by Kassina State Governor Aminu Masari to people living with disabilities, which were sold. The suspects were arrested within the metropolis and were selling the wheelchairs bought by the Masari Foundation for 150,000 naira at a cheap rate of 7,000 naira each. This is just a simple example. So many of these have been happening where a, a, a donation informants will be done and at the end of the day uh, they will be thrown away at a meager cheaper price. The special advisor to the governor on people living with disability matters, Yao Zaka, who was at the command, promised to do all things possible to check the act and collaborate with the police to bring the perpetrators to book. So I assure the Kazakhstan state government this will not be happen again because we are going to put eyes uh, at the local government, inshallah. Issa said investigation is ongoing on the different crimes. Zakari Omale, AIT News, Katsina.